Hey everyone, this is your five minute daily devotional. Today's scripture verse is coming from Psalm 37 verse four. It reads as follows. Take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. When I was fresh out of college and sort of starting my life as a young adult, I remember, and this is going to sound silly, but I remember wanting one of those rotating spice racks. You guys know what I'm talking about. You remember those? They sort of sit on your couch counter and all the spices are kind of in there and you turn them to kind of get the spices. Guys, I thought they were the coolest things ever, (laughs) ever. I mean, I just thought what a great idea. You know, they usually were kind of like at the time it was like wood or some sort of like, you know, nice steel material. And they would, you know, kind of sit on your your counter and either they would come with the spices and the pre-labels or, you know, they would come empty and you would fill out the labels and put in the spices and they would just kind of sit there and rotate. And they were so pretty and yet practical. I just thought, I love this. (laughs) The problem was I was a fresh out of college, broke, (laughs) broke, young adult just starting my life. And I really honestly couldn't afford it. And I think at the time they might've been like a little bit more pricier. Now they're kind of, you know, not expensive. They're reasonable, but they were a little bit more pricier. And I just kind of thought, man, I would just love one of those things, but I couldn't afford it. And then even if I could afford it, could squeeze it in my budget, I knew it was kind of a splurge. And then it's like, okay, well, do I want to splurge really on a spice rack? Do I really want that? I couldn't justify the expense in my head. So I got the normal spices and just sort of put them in my cupboard. I even remember one time being at my sister-in-law's house. They were, you know, my brother and sister-in-law a little bit older and being at their house. And she had one of those rotating spice racks. And I was like, Man, (laughs) I was a little jealous, but I just kind of let it go. I forgot about it just honestly for a very long time. (laughs) Recently, I was sort of looking at my pantry and I was looking at the spices and I thought, oh, I should get one of those like three tiered, you know, shelving things for the spices. And I go online to kind of look one up to get and lo and behold, I see rotating spice racks. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness, that's right. I had forgotten that they existed. I had forgotten that I had wanted one. I was like, whoa, I remember those. I used to want one so bad. Guys, I got myself a rotating spice rack. It spins. It does all the things. The spices are right there. I just love it. It's funny because when I started to put it together, God reminded me of how I really, really wanted one. And I just thought, Lord, you're amazing. Do you know what's incredible about God? Everything, (laughs) just everything. He remembers everything. He knows how many hairs are on our head, the Bible says. And he knows every time one sheds out, he knows every prayer we have prayed, even the prayers we've forgotten about, even the prayers that, you know, we think are just sort of so far-fetched. We pray them and just kind of think, oh, that's never going to happen. He knows every desire of our heart, even the ones we've forgotten about. He knows everything about us. He knows us. He loves us. And he's just so good. When the Bible says that if we take delight in the Lord, he will give us the desires of our hearts. Friends, we can trust that. It's not just sort of one of those cliche verses. We can absolutely trust him and trust that. Friends, some of you are waiting for promises and you have been waiting for a very long time. You have not forgotten about these promises. They are at the forefront of your mind and you are just kind of giving up hope. You're thinking that they are never going to happen, but God has not forgotten those promises. God has not forgotten you. God knows exactly where you are. He knows exactly what he's doing and he knows exactly what he's going to do in your lives. If God could do something as small and silly as bring me a rotating spice rack after you know forgetting that I wanted it, but knowing that at one time it was very important to me, if he can bring that back to me, he can most certainly fulfill the desires that you have in your heart. He can most certainly do the big things that you've been praying about, asking for, believing for, that you have just you know given up hope for. He can most certainly do those things and more. God hasn't forgotten anything and he most certainly has not forgotten you. It may take a little bit of time, but you let that thing go into God's hands and you trust him. And at just the right time, he will bring it right back to you. Let's pray. 
Lord Jesus, I pray for all my brothers and sisters who are watching, who are listening, God, who have been waiting and believing for a promise for a long time, God, and it seems long in coming. It seems like it's never going to happen, God. I pray that you would give them hope, God. I pray that you would let them know that you haven't forgotten about them, that you haven't forgotten about that promise, that you still intend to bring it to pass, that you still intend to do what you said you will do, God, that you are not a man that you should lie, nor the son of man that you need to repent. You will do what you said, Lord, and it will come right on time. Help them, Lord, to just believe, God, to let it go into your hands, to trust that you have it, God. And yes, Lord, right on time, God, right in the very minute that it is supposed to manifest, God, that thing will come, God, and it will bless them and they will give you the glory, God. You are good. We give you the glory in advance. We thank you in advance for everything that you are going to do for my friends, God, everything that you're going to do for us, God. And we love you, God, in Jesus' name. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like, and comment on this video. I would appreciate it and I'd love to have you guys. You guys have a great day. God loves you so much. I love you guys. I appreciate you watching. I will see you next time and God bless you.